Hello students, in today's class we are going to learn uh, differences between uh, valency and uh, that of uh, oxidation number, right? So the first difference is that valency of an element is only a number without any sign. For example, hydrogen is always having valency 1. Similarly, that of oxygen is always water 2. We know that oxygen always is a divalent species, right? And if you see the first difference with respect to oxidation number, oxidation number of an element has either positive or that of a negative sign, right? For example, oxidation number of hydrogen is always plus 1 and that of oxygen is always minus 2 in its compound, okay? Yet there are exceptions that we will be learning with respect to certain examples, fine? But most of the time, oxygen will always be having what a oxidation state of minus 2. Two, that we have to water remember and the second difference between that of valency and oxidation number is that except for uh, noble gases okay valency of uh, no other element uh, is zero right what do you mean by noble gases the gases uh, which do not have any tendency to combine okay they're always noble their electronic configuration will be having ns2 np6 right so for that is the reason we say that valency of no other element will be zero except for that of water noble gases right now if you see the second difference with respect to oxidation number is that oxidation number of an element can be zero okay for example in C6H12O6 that is nothing but called as glucose an organic compound right oxidation number of a carbon is zero now let us try to calculate how this oxidation state of carbon is zero I will write C6H12O6 okay and this is equated to zero we know that oxygen is minus two hydrogen is plus one I have to calculate for carbon, I will be rating it as minus, sorry, only as what x. Now, x into 6, this becomes 6x, 1 into 12, this becomes plus 12, right? And again plus 2 into 6, it becomes minus 12 and that is equated to 0. I have to calculate for x now, now 6x is equal to 12 and minus 12, right? x is equal to 0 by 6 now the answer is what a 0 so therefore we can say that oxidation number of an element can be 0 fine now let us have the third uh, differences the third difference is that valency of an element is always a whole number this concept we have to remember right valency of an element is always a whole number but whereas oxidation number of an atom in a compound can be fractional for example in sodium tetrathionate compound oxidation number of a sulfur is a plus 2.5 it is none other than what a fraction again let us try to calculate how it can be fought formed right so here i will be taking the formula n a2 s4 O6 is equal to 0. We know that oxygen is minus 2. Sulfur I have to calculate. Let me take it as X. Sodium an alkali atom. So it is valency is sorry oxidation number is 1. So I have to now tabulate minus 1 into 2. It is sorry plus 1 into 2. It is 2 plus X into 4. It is nothing but 4X again plus uh, minus 2 into 6 it is minus 12 uh, equal to 0 now I have to calculate for 4x is equal to you bring the 12 that side 12 uh, minus 2 x is equal to 10 by 4 2 2 za, 2 5 za, and 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5 so oxidation state is now what a, a fraction for sulfur in sodium tetrathionate compound right and let us have the last difference last difference is a very important difference right so we can see that in most of the cases an 
element is always having a fixed valency in all of its uh, compounds right so we can see that carbon is always a tetravalent in uh, all of its uh, compound but this is not same with respect to oxidation number right oxidation number of an element uh, is usually different uh, in a uh, different compounds it means it will be under variation now let us see that carbon atom has oxidation number of minus 4 in methane but whereas it is minus 3 in C2H6 that is ethane and plus 4 in carbon tetrachloride and whereas 0 in case of water glucose that we have just now water solved out let us try to solve the examples and find out the oxidation number okay I have said that a carbon is having oxidation number of minus 4 in methane so let me write here methane CH4 equal to what 0 I know that hydrogen is plus 1 I have to calculate for carbon so X plus 4 equal to what 0 X is equal to what minus 4 so here we got a oxidation of carbon as minus 4 in the case of ethane c2 h6 uh, equal to 0 hydrogen is what a plus 1 a carbon i don't know i write it as x uh, 2 into x becomes what a 2x uh, plus a 6 into 1 it becomes a 6 uh, equal to 0 2x is equal to what a minus 6 uh, now x is equal to minus 6 by 2 and this becomes 2 ones uh, and this becomes 2 3s are right and uh, therefore I can write it as what uh, minus 3 similarly if we calculate for carbon tetrachloride chloride here I can write it as CCl4 equal to 0 halogen it is chlorine it is minus 1 carbon I don't know I write it as X uh, X uh, plus uh, minus 1 into 4 it becomes what uh, minus 4 equal to 0 now X is equal to what uh, plus 4 concepts are clear students so this is all about what are the difference between oxidation number and that of water valency fine i hope you have understood the concept thank you for which watching the video and uh, if you feel good kindly like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much